Hey YouTube family, Auntie is here. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. I almost forgot because I'm tired. <laughs> Let's start that again. I'm your auntie of pop culture. We have curls. We have scoop. We give out hugs because you never know who can need a hug. It's not cute not knowing. We start off with the sad report of the death of actor Ray Liotta. He was a well-established and very well-liked actor. They found him, they say he died in his sleep. He was 67 years old in the Bahamas, filming a movie, Dangerous Water. He is best known for playing Henry Hill in the movie Goodfellas, which came out in 1990. There was Field of Dreams, where he played Shoeless Joe Jackson. There was Mark, Narc. There was movie Karina, Karina with Whoopi Goldberg. He had like 80 films under his belt, but that role there... Henry Hill in Goodfellas. Uh, like I said, he was filming a movie. He leaves behind a daughter and a fiance, Ray Liotta, dead at the age of 67. Well, it looks like actor Jesse Smollett just may be getting on his feet. He's doing a his movie. He did it already. He directed this movie called B-Boy Blues. Well, it's coming to BET Plus June 9th. He's teamed up with Mona Scott Young. She does all those, you know, the VH1 um, series with all the women. And now he's he's helping out Jussie Smollett. Why is she helping out Jussie? Because before the scandal and all of that with Empire, she said that she would be there for him and she has come through. What is B-Boy Blues about? It's about two guys. One is a college-educated journalist, and the other one is a bike messenger. And it's a clash of cultures, I guess you could say. The two fall in love. Jesse directs it. Jesse co-produces it. And maybe this will be a turning point in his career because whether it was a hoax or not, it was just career damaging, but it looks like Jesse Smollett, this is some good news and maybe some things will start to turn around for the actor. Top Guns at the movies tomorrow. Are you guys excited as me? I, I told y'all the story about my, my family. They were just looking at me because, you know, everyone's under 36. And they're like, it was when my niece said, where was I? And I was like, you weren't born. Uh, Jay Ellis, who we love as Lawrence Insecure. Actor John Hamm, Miles Teller. It's already in theaters and it is expected to be the number one movie for the box office. Now, Memorial Day weekend kicks off the summer season. It's like the summer season is here and you get the movies and the concerts and outdoor events and all that. But they are expecting Top Gun Maverick to be the number one movie at the box office. Ellen DeGeneres saying goodbye today. Yeah, she's leaving daytime after 19 seasons. It started off well, but then the pandemic hit, and then people started talking about how things were on the set. Now, a lot of people say, well, it wasn't her being mean, it was her people. When you're in charge of something, you have to make sure that your people treat other people well. Because, you know, you can have a person and they'll get a job and it will clearly go to their head. And she probably should have kept that in check more because their bad attitude will show up on you. What's next for Ellen DeGeneres? Her show yesterday was really good because she had Bruno Mars on before he became Bruno Mars or Silk Sonic. And he came on with some champagne and a picture and he just wanted to say he was she was he was grateful she, he was on the show in 2010. That's what I want to say. He was on the show in 2010. And it was a real touching. A lot of people came by just to say goodbye. Even Oprah came by to say goodbye to Ellen DeGeneres. Now, what's next? She could do some stand-up comedy specials. I could see her doing that. But you know who I see taking her place in the future and coming up with their own daytime show? Mark this. This is May 26. Mark this on your calendar. I think it's going to be James Corden. He was named as a possible replacement, and he's leaving his show next year. It's not going to be until next May. But I think his next move 
is doing a show, a daytime talk show. He's probably tired of the, you know, the late night and whatnot. He has millions, billions of views. He's still very popular. I think he's going to make the move to daytime. I think she'll go back to maybe producing or doing some stand-up comedy. Now, Kelly Clarkson, her show is going to move into that spotlight. She married a very dangerous man. She did. Kelly Clarkson, oh, he's bitter and he's mad. I don't think he loved her. I think he knew it was an opportunity. Let's get some kids in here. Now he's trying to rake her for everything she's got. But Kelly Clarkson is going to take over her time slot. But in the future, don't be surprised. You're going to be like, I do say that. I think James Corden is going to be making a move to daytime TV. Yesterday, we talked about the school shooting in Texas. You know, Quinta Brunson has a show, Abbott Elementary, about an elementary school. She plays a school teacher. And people were suggesting to her that maybe she should do, an, you know, an episode on a school shooting. I'm so glad she shut them down. What you're seeing in this country, a school shooting is not entertainment. Let me just say that again. A school shooting, that's not entertainment. That's what something politicians and lawmakers got to deal with when you're dealing with gun control and things like that. But to suggest that a comedy show tackle, I'm glad she told them in a nice way, that's not my lane and I will not do that. And what we are witnessing, because it's been going on too long, is not entertainment. I was like... Who would think of something? Think it was like entertainment. This ain't no damn joke. Our children. We're losing our children. And we say our children. Because if you are a parent or you have young people that you love, these children are our children. Because they are the future. And we're losing our children. And it happens way too often. Can't even begin to imagine what they're going through. But people, um, everything ain't entertaining. Everything is not entertainment. But can you believe that? Quinta, no much I love you. I'm so glad that you shut them down. Will there be a show tomorrow? I think so. <laughs> I'm doing a road trip tomorrow. You know, tomorrow's the official kickoff of the summer season. They got me down in Atlantic City at the Bally's Casino, it's been all redone. It's all renewed. Um, I'm going to see how the day goes. Because then i got to find somewhere quiet to go to record. So there will be a weekend update. There will be a weekend update. i got to see how tomorrow goes. Because something tells me they're going to have me busy, 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 busy. And tomorrow's is going to be one of the busy, busy, busy days. I'm hosting Monique tomorrow night. So I can't wait to give you a report on that she's doing two shows in the area we'll be like burning up the highway but tomorrow it's a road show so i'm not even going to be in my studio so i'm gonna see how the how the day goes but i i probably will but don't be surprised and be like well, where's she at i i've got to work it out and just see like how the entire day goes but if i don't get a chance to talk with you have a great memorial day weekend it's the official start of summer. Uh, grilling, barbecuing, being with friends, relaxing, sleeping, whatever you do. Maybe you got to work. Just make it a great weekend. Remember, don't drink and drive. And have a good one. Just have a good weekend. And more importantly, remember those that we have lost, our veterans, because that is what Memorial Day is about. Remember those that we have lost who sacrificed so much for this country. Nine times out of 10, Auntie will be here. But just in case I'm not, look out for that weekend edition. It's, it's really good. So check it out. I have a young lady, LaShawn Assignment. She puts it all together. But have a great one, everybody. And just in case, have a great Memorial Day weekend.